Hi, I am Dr. Sagacity. You are my medical student. I am going to ask you questions. I am John Smith. I am a lowly medical student. Why are we outside? It does not matter. Tell me the case so I can fix everything. The patient is Betty Lou. She is old. Her friend found her lying on her back porch after she did not show up at bingo. She did not break any bones, but it appears she may have been outside in the cold for a long time. Did she seem normal when she was found? Her speech was slurred and she seemed to be confused and disoriented. Was she able to move? Not really. She was very uncoordinated. Her friend called an ambulance. Did the paramedics take her temperature? Yes. They said it was a measly 95.5 degrees. What was your assessment of Mrs. Betty Lou? I suspect this patient is experiencing hypothermia secondary to prolonged exposure. This is a reasonable assessment of her condition. Since that was so simple for you, what is the pathway of neural transmission for thermal regulation? Neural pathways are evil. And they are led straight to Ahem. Uh I, I, I mean first, the peripheral neuron sensors sense the change in temperature. That is correct. And obvious. Then the signal travels up the anterolateral spinal tract, then to the reticular formation and then... Yes? Um, I know it is part of the hypothalamus. Yes? Um, I think it is the preoptic area. That is correct. You should have more confidence in yourself, you lowly medical student. Here. I will help you develop that confidence by further pimping you. My name is John Smith. My name is I do not care what your name is. What is the pathway for light touch? The pathway of the ventral spinothalamic tract is responsible for light touch. Merkel. Tactile discs send the signal up the ventral spinothalamic tract to the VPL. Nucleus of the thalamus and from there to the postcentral gyrus. Okay, smarty pants, what travels from peripheral neuron? Sensors to the dorsal column then to the reticular formation and finally to the preoptic area? I really do not know. Really? Because I can see it from my house. I am not sure why that is relevant. I don't believe those structure to be connected. The dorsal column doesn't connect to the reticular formation. Rather, it connects to the fasciculus gracilis for the lower extremity or the fasciculus canidus for the upper extremity, and then become the medial lemniscus which synapses on the ventral posterolateral nucleus of the thalamus and eventually reaches the somatosensory cortex via the posterior limb of the internal capsule. Close enough. What about a light touch on the lower leg? The dorsal column and medial lemniscus pathway carries light touch and proprioceptive information from the lower half of the body. Peripheral neuron sensors send information up the dorsal column to the gracile nucleus, then to the medial lemniscus, next to the VPL of thalamus and finally to the postcentral gyrus. Now we are talking. I am gonna make a doctor out of you yet. See how well my method works? Painfully well. Pain? Oh yeah, okay, last one. What is the pathway for pain and temperature? Peripheral neuron sensors send the signal to the anterolateral spinal tract, up to the VPL of thalamus, and finally to the post-central gyrus. Although it senses the temperature, this is not the pathway that is utilized to regulate the body temperature. Well done, medical student. Way to break that glass ceiling. <laughs>